This summer was a royal bonanza. Prince Charles turned 70, and the occasion was marked with a brilliant documentary about how lovely he is. The prince did squeeze in the visit to the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> there was a special edition of Royal Gogglebox on Channel 4. No way. Oops. <laughs> Extremely painful. Yeah. Really rough stuff, isn't yes. it? <laughs> but it all geared up to the biggest event of them all. In April, three billion people gathered to watch not one, but two royal weddings. As Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and Princess Eugenie, and this guy, tied the knot on the same day at the same venue in a joint wedding to cut costs, saving the taxpayer millions of pounds. We are live from the castle. Princess Eugenie preparing to marry Jack Brooksbank. Mix in all of that with the Harry and Meghan wedding. That was so stunning. I want to go and do the vows again with uh -huh. me and my husband. <laughs> it was a star-studded event but much was made of the absence of Meghan Markle's father, Thomas, who was forced to watch the whole thing from his hospital bed. In his first ever television interview, uh, we can speak to Thomas Markle. Good morning to you, Mr morning. Markle. I am a father. I'm a man. We've all read and heard so much about you in the last year. Uh, first of all, let me just ask, I guess, the obvious question. How are you? I'm very pleased to be on your fine show to set the record straight. There have been many lies. I have been portrayed as a drunk who is barely in control of his faculties, and that is a lie. We're going to come back to you, Thomas, in about 30 minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Lovely guy, huh? 